My daughter Chantal got sick from up north three, four years ago. He's been like good to our family. He's very close to all the kids. I met Seiko through my auntie Chantel up in Kitwanga, BC. He was just a little puppy. Seiko and Joe grew up quite a bit together. So Chantel and Joseph and Seiko and I would do lots of uh, traveling around in, in the bushes and stuff and go to rivers and lakes. It's just a nice day like this, sunny, windy. We went up that morning to go potato picking. We all got up there about an hour and a half later. Ate our lunch and wandered around. I got pictures of that day. The sun was just starting to come down and we packed up. The girls said they'll be right behind us because we were going to have a barbecue that day. I was pretty tired so I started to fall asleep in the back. I could feel the truck going over. Didn't really know what was going on. It went black after that. We received a report of some overdue hikers. We notified local search and rescue and began a search of the area. I tried moving any, any possible way I could and I felt my head. And I looked down on my hand and it was just full of blood. The worst part was going to go feel my leg. And I go and pinch it and realize it is my bone. I was only wearing a sweater just like this and shorts. When there's an injury and you're in shock, you need to maintain your body temperature. I just cuddled up and covered myself with some rocks and fell asleep. Seiko laid on top of me too, kept me pretty warm. There's any number of factors that, um, that might play a role in the danger to uh, someone that, that is going to be left out in the wilderness. That area is subject to a number of different uh, predatory animals, including large cats, bears, coyotes. Someone that had sustained serious injuries and was not mobile would not have had the ability to protect themselves. We were just falling asleep. And that's when you hear the first couple of howls. He got up as soon as he realized their scent was coming closer and closer. And then he just went in. You could hear them just fighting and the bushes ruffling around. The presence of dogs tends to keep those animals at bay. Seiko did play a huge role in, in his survival. He came back, looked like he only just had a bite mark on his neck and that was it. So I just laid him down right beside me and made sure he was comfy and snuggled him up and we fell asleep. Thursday, the day I lost hope. Just covered myself with rocks and accepted what was going to happen. We looked all over the mountains and it was three days. And then I hear a door slam and my cousin Denise, she came down and found me. All I was basically told was he was alive and he was the only survivor. I don't really understand my part of surviving, but a big part of it was Seiko. We had someone survive, and that was through the assistance of Seiko. He saved my son's life. The details of this particular event and what Seiko did for his owner really do deserve for him to be inducted into the Purina Animal Hall of Fame. For Seiko to be inducted into the Purina Hall of Fame will be a memory of a lifetime, not only for our family, but for everyone who knows Seiko and Joseph.